See, it, it's more about changing the way we think and the way we receive things. That's why I adopted a long time ago. I had to tell myself, how was I going to get out of the situation I was currently in? What could I do to change my life around? Because so many times we get that insanity trait. The insanity trait meaning we repeating, we continue to repeat the same things over and over, expecting different results. So I had to tell myself, I have to start making the impossible possible. I have to start believing the unbelievable. Hey, trust me, I know how it is to be full of, to have a brain full of pressure. You got all these emotions going around in your head and you don't understand them and you're still learning yourself. I'm at an age where I'm still learning myself every single day. And I, and I run into certain obstacles that almost, they, they will make you want to give up. I've been there. I've been wanting to give up. I didn't get, I didn't quit. This I didn't quit this a thousand times. I done had a million different jobs. I quit them all. Because I got to a point where it was easier, at that point in my life, it was easier to quit than it was to keep going. See, once you make a mindset shift and just change your whole way of thinking, you tell yourself, hold up. Giving up, nah, it's not even an option. Giving up starts seeing way harder than trying. So I might well keep trying. I keep going and keep thriving. And that's when I adopted the mindset, oh, I got to make the impossible possible. I remember sleeping in my car back in 2006 with no traditional job skills and nothing that was gonna really help me in life. Yeah, I had a, a high school diploma, but I had no job experience because I spent the first couple of years outside of high school doing everything that wasn't gonna push me forward in life. You know, see the decisions we, the decisions we make today impact our lives for tomorrow so the main thing i had to start doing was start making better decisions when i was sleeping in my car i just kept saying to myself every night it's going to be better it's going to be better it's going to be better see that's where it starts at the things we speak out of our mouth because if we say something enough times, we start believing in it. And once we start believing in it, we start manifesting these things into our lives to change the whole trajectory of everything we've been working on the past weeks, months, and years. And my biggest goal at the time was just simply owning my own bed and going home at night to sleep in my own bed. That was it. So I said, I kept telling myself, you know what? I'm gonna have my own bed. Because if you say something to yourself enough times, you start believing it. Same thing with negative thoughts. If you tell yourself enough time that you can't do something, or you're gonna quit, or it's too hard, you'll start believing that. So why can't we make the same mindset shift when it comes to, you know, positive affirmations. I can do this. I can complete this task. Nobody had to tell me this. It's just when you spend so much time by yourself and you start reflecting on all your mistakes and you're trying to figure out what was the things I did wrong last time that I won't do this time. I could have gave up on everything that I was fighting for at the time, but I know giving up would not lead me to that bed. 
All I ever wanted was a nice king size bed with the big fluffy hotel pillows. You know how it is when you go on vacation with your family and you sit down and you lay down in that bed at that hotel bed at night and it feels so good it just feel like you're just laying on a cloud. That's all I just wanted. I wanted that cloud feeling for myself. So at that point in time, that's when I decided it was time for me to step up and take the role of a leader. Because for so long, I wasn't being a leader. I wasn't filled with that, that, that leader mentality. I didn't have that, that leader energy. I had the follower energy. I had that follower mentality. And a lot of times, it's not that we're necessarily following people, but we're following bad situations. We're following bad energy, which leads to bad outcomes. Outcomes as like me sleeping in my car. And to be honest with you all, the only person whose fault it was that I was sleeping in my car was my own. Sometimes that's the hardest pill to swallow, knowing that you done did everything that you could do and you still end up in this type of situation. Accountability would take you so far in this world. So that was something I had to do because for so long, those first couple of years, anything happening wrong in my life, I would blame everything and everyone it but me. But upon sleeping in that car, I had to tell myself, hold up, I got myself in this situation. And I found myself in situations like this because I became a follower of people who had goals, but their goals were not aligned with my own. See, that's where, that's where we fumble at sometimes. We want friends, and we want to be loyal to our friends, but the fact of the matter is our friends are not going where we're going. They're not headed where we headed. You know, I, I, I like to say, you know, life is like getting on a bus and embarking on a journey, you know, Sometimes on that, a lot of times, every day on every bus schedule, whether it's the city bus or the school bus, that bus got to make multiple stops throughout the day to get to its final destination. And to be honest with you, everybody that's riding on the bus with you right now, they're not meant to be the person that's sitting next to you once you get to your final destination. We love them, and much as we admire them, and much as we love to laugh with them, and eat with them, and you know, have these good times and share these moments with them, their destiny is not your destiny. Their goals are not your goals. So what I did was, I made that decision right then and there, in that 2006 Buick LeSable, that I will always be a leader from now on. I will always be in charge of my own destiny. I will be in charge of my own situation. I won't follow, I won't follow people that's leading me down the wrong path. Or I won't follow old ways that I saw growing up or the people around me that's at home or in my family. If they're not somebody that's gonna be a positive influence on my mind, my education, and my way of life, then I, I, I chose not to follow them anymore because it was way too many of those people than positive people in my lifetime, in my life at the time. No longer would I get distracted by my friends because, because we got love for each other. No longer would I have that follower mentality. I, was, I had leadership qualities before but that day, that night sleeping in my car was the night I truly became a leader.